everybody welcome to another video um today is gonna be a what i eat in a day kind of video i have some awesome meals i want to show you guys that are really easy to make really filling really nutritious and also i'm still sticking to obviously vegan but it's like low carb high protein so i want to show a lot of recipes um how to achieve that because the vegan or plant-based diet is usually like um there's this guy right here by my window looking at me i feel weird um so the vegan diet is usually high carb low fat kind of plant kind of diet kind of lifestyle so there's a lot of rice a lot of a lot of like just a lot of carbs so and a lot of fruit and fruit has a lot of carbs and you know when everyone when I first transitioned into a vegan diet I had slimmed down but I somehow like got this like pudge all over my body I was like not lean I was like slim but not lean I don't know if that makes any sense Hello. Okay. So I just got done with groceries. I'm back home. I wanted to show you a couple of snacks that I'm actually eating right now. So I've never tried this, but I found it at Whole Foods and it's a grain free paleo puff. So organic and I got the like Himalayan pink salt one. Um, so it's I don't know if you could see it, but it's non-GMO, paleo, gluten-free, vegan, and and grain-free. So these are actually pretty good. It th this one really tastes like I'm having like coconut oil, but it's not that bad. It has a good amount of fats in it, and it's pretty low carb, only 18 grams. I don't know if you could see all of that, and that's for like 25 pieces. 25 pieces, 130 calories, low carb, no sugars. It's pretty good. Oh, and it's made with cassava root, coconut, sweet potato, Himalayan sea salt, and nutrient dense coconut oil. And you could taste the coconut oil. So it does have fat, it's six grams of fat, but it's healthy fat. So I think this is my new go to snack. It's pretty good. And then my other one, okay. I don't know why I never knew this. So Skinny Pop right here. I usually have the sea salt one, okay? Um, but I saw this one and it's, and I got the sharp cheddar. I got the cheddar one and I never got it before because I never knew the cheddar one was vegan until I saw that it's certified vegan, gluten-free, non-GMO, no artificial ingredients. It's like made from popcorn. It tastes like popcorn. And honestly, you can barely taste like the cheese in it. Um, okay, ingredients. Popcorn, sunflower oil, rice flour, sea salt, natural non-dairy cheddar flavor, lactic acid, and paprika, paprika extract. Right there. So these are vegan. I was so excited when I saw it, and they're of course gluten free. So, these are my new snacks. If I ever get hungry, like at night, I think this is a really healthy alternative. But I, of course, will snack on like almonds or berries or just like more wholesome foods because these are kind of like processed. You know, they are chips made in a factory but i think they're a good alternative if you love chips and i love chips so and i just love snacking on things like this so i think this is a good alternative for anyone who's into that so yep i'm gonna show you breakfast now so i thought i had some spinach on me uh, it would have been really good with the smoothie but i don't so i'm gonna have a berry protein smoothie so I have this uh, summer blend berries, 
frozen. I have a third of a banana, one date. I have some hemp seeds, some chia seeds. I have this protein powder, the Fit with Cambry one. My review is in the previous video. I'll put the link below in the description box. But I'm only going to be using one scoop uh, for breakfast because I'm using the other scoop for lunch. And you'll see what I'm having for lunch. And then, of course, I'm having almond milk. And then, oh, I guess I'll just be down here. And then when I'm done, I'm gonna come back and make some lunch. Off for my workout and I will see you guys soon. So I burned, I think, 600 calories. It was a little over 600 calories. And I know tonight I am probably going to walk like three, five miles. The least I do in walking is like three miles and the most I do is five miles. So it just depends how I'm feeling. You know, I kind of take it easy. I just make sure I go hard in my workout. I make, it's like an hour. And I usually just tell myself, I'm like, you know what? It's an hour out of my day. I'm gonna give it my all. That way I can see the most results because I hate it when I take the time to work out and I just don't put the right effort into it. And I'm just like, well, that was a waste of time and my hair's all disgusting right now. Look at all that disgusting sweat. I actually like it because I'm, I'm like proud of myself that I'm, I'm like soaked, you know what I mean? So, okay, let's get to lunch. Um, I kind of have an obsession with oats lately. I'm actually having them for lunch. So I have a fourth cup of just rolled oats, they're plain. And I'm gonna kind of dice these apples. I got these from Trader Joe's and they're so good. They're already like pre-sliced for me, so I'm just gonna chop them up even more. And I'm actually gonna roast them and this is some almond milk, coconut flakes, hemp seeds, chia seeds, and I'm actually just gonna put them all in one big pot and kind of have this like 
hot oatmeal. Oh, I'm also gonna use some cinnamon. Let's get that cinnamon, which is almost out. Yeah, I'm also gonna add some cinnamon in there, and yeah, you could definitely have this for breakfast, but I was kind of craving this for lunch right now. By the way, I forgot to mention, um, I forgot to add the protein powder into the oatmeal. So, like in breakfast, I said I'm gonna add one scoop into my shake and the other scoop for lunch. And that was the other scoop. I was supposed to add one more scoop into the oatmeal, into the pot, and just like mix it up. And I completely forgot, but definitely add any kind of protein powder into it. Um, or you don't have to, I didn't. And it was still really, really filling. Um, even without the protein powder, it's still packed with protein. It has hemp seeds, chia seeds, oats, almond milk. Um, so yeah, that's all packed with protein and it will still keep you lean. But if you want, add the protein powder. And oh, oh, I'm in my garage right now. So um, when drinking water, you want to make sure you're having it like 30 minutes after a meal. All my waters are here. So I usually have it like 30 minutes after a meal and just so it can help with digestion because if you have water during a meal, you tend to bloat a lot. Okay guys, so I just finished baking my sweet potato in my toaster oven. Um, yeah, this looks ready. When all this juice is coming out of sweet potato, like that's when you know it's ready. So what you wanna do before you put in your sweet potato into your oven, uh, make sure you preheat it to 450 and take a knife or a fork and just like put holes into it and then let it bake and you'll know when it's ready when all this like goo starts coming out and it's like really good. Okay, so I cut my sweet potato in half and I'm just gonna have this for dinner with some, with this um, protein patty that I use a lot and I love it. I'm also just gonna have half of this one, half a sweet potato. I'm just, I'm just trying to see you.